Today is August 18, 2018, in the year of our Lord. Uh, 81818, the significance of that is it's the same frontwards and backwards, upside down, right side up. And uh, Tina, when she was telling me one time when we were just friends and talking that friends of hers married on 71717 because it was frontwards and backwards. And just, you know, being the flirt that I tend to be sometimes, and joked around and said, oh, so when you and I get married, we're getting married on 81818. And well, guess what? Here we are, and we're getting married. She's amazing. She's gorgeous. She's fun. Uh, she's everything that I wanted and I never thought I would ever find in a woman. And she's perfect for me. I love her. I feel great, and I just want to, I'm looking to party. Today is 81818. And that is the day that um, me and Dave, as friends, said that we were going to get married on. We met um, <clears throat> back in January of 17, and um, timing wasn't right yet, so we were friends on Facebook. And we kept running into each other here and there. And then um, he came into the liquor store that I was working at to play the, his lottery numbers and we hadn't like seen each other in probably like a good six or seven months just you know when we were running into each other so um, he came up to play his lottery and of course we remembered each other and we would chit chat and, and um, he made me like a little nervous and I was like "Ooh, I haven't seen him in a while he's kind of cute I haven't, don't remember him like that but okay whatever and um, he I could tell that he was nervous too his face was getting all blushy and stuff and then um, he started coming in every single shift that I was working to play the lottery with me because he knew that I was working. And, um, and then eventually, the timing ended up becoming right and um, we started hanging out. I went to go meet him to play um, some Texas Hold'em. We were just friends and then like within two weeks we were in a relationship and a week after that we were planning 81818. So that's like, it's like pretty much a whirlwind, but um, probably the best whirlwind I've ever had. I love Tina, like another mother. And then I just recently met Dave, but I love Dave already, like family, so I love them a lot, really. Stay married. Uh, give me another cousin, maybe. Yeah, that's about it. I just hope that they last together for a long time. Just like have a great time together. Congratulations, you two crazy kids. Um, try not to kill each other. And no matter what you're fighting, remember you're fighting together. Team Mama Mary! Yay! Okay, love you, bye. Kisses! Well, uh, you know, I'm happy and like stuff like that and, you know, make my mom happy and so I'm excited. Never been in a wedding, so I'm excited to experience this and yeah, how do you feel? I feel pretty good, you know, I'm happy for them. They like each other, so I guess I don't know. <laughs> uh, my mom's, what would you say, hip. She's all like old school, but like she's really like hip and She's, she's, she's young. She likes to be young, so she likes to party and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, she's a good mom. You know, she takes care of us. She feeds us. So it's good. She, she made me who I am now. Like hockey and baseball and graduation and school. So I'm excited. Thank you, Mom. I love you. Um, uh, she's energetic. She's a people person. Like She can meet anyone in the street and just like say hi to them, become friends. Well, I just want to say congratulations, Mom. I love you. 
Uh, there's a good guy. He's a good guy, and uh, he loves you a lot. So hope for the best. And, yeah. How you feel? Um, you You know, I love you, mom. Uh, I'm happy for you. You found the right guy after a few like mistakes, but you found the right one. I'm happy you're marrying Dave. I like Dave. Dave, my man. Um, I'm happy for both of you guys. Hope you guys have a good life at the end. gathered here today to celebrate the wedding of Dave and Tina. You have come to share in this formal commitment they make to one another, to offer love and support to this union, and to allow Dave and Tina to start their married life off together, surrounded by the people dearest and most important to them. 
Dave and Tina would like to say thank you for your presence here today and now ask for your blessing, encouragement, and lifelong support for their decision to be married. Love is a miraculous gift, and a wedding is a celebration of that gift. Today, we are celebrating this gift of love, and I want to add my best wishes to the words that shall unite you in marriage. What you promised to each other today must be renewed again tomorrow and every day that follows. At the end of this ceremony, you will be husband and wife. Still, you must decide each and every day to commit yourselves to one another. Make such decision and keep on making it. For the most important thing in life is to love and to be loved. Do you, Dave, wish to be joined in marriage to Tina in marriage? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Tina, wish to be joined today in marriage. Marriage is perhaps the greatest and most challenging adventure of human relationships. A ceremony cannot create a marriage. Only you can do that through love and patience, through dedication and perseverance, through talking and listening through helping, supporting, and believing in each other, through tenderness and laughter, through learning to forgive, learning to appreciate your differences, and by learning to make important things matter and let go of the rest. What the ceremony can do is witness and affirm the choice you make to stand together as lifelong partners. These rings are not just another piece of jewelry. These rings represent the bond and commitment and love that you make to one another. Wear them and cherish them as you do each other. At this time, we will have a poem read titled, I Promise, by Dorothy Colgan. I Promise by Dorothy R. Cogan. I promise to give you the best of myself and to ask of you no more than what you can give. I promise to respect you as your own person and to realize that your interests, desires, and needs are no less important than my own. I promise to share with you my time and attention to bring you joy, strength, and imagination to our relationship. I promise to keep myself open to you, to let you see through the window of my world into my innermost feels and feelings, secrets and dreams. I promise to grow along with you, to be willing to face changes in order to keep our relationship alive and exciting. I promise to love you in good times and bad, with all I have to give and all I feel inside in the only way I know how, completely and forever. exchange vows and they have written their own vows. I, David, I promise you a lifetime of love. I promise you to forever and always be by your side and support you. I promise you to always be your shoulder to lean on. I promise you to always be your best friend. You are my rock, my soulmate, my everything, and my forever. 
You are my first thought in the morning and my last thought before I fall asleep. Apart we are nothing and together we are everything. You are my most favorite person in my forever for now and until the end of our time. I love you. Oh. I, Tina, take you, Dave, to be my spouse, and I pledge to you my friendship, support, understanding, and love. I give you this ring as a symbol of my pledge to you. I, David, thank you, Tina, to be my wife. And I promise to you to love you, help, and encourage you in all that you do. I pledge to you my friendship, support, understanding, and love. I give you this ring as a symbol of my pledge to you. This one? <laughs> now that Dave and Tina have given their consent, have stated their vows to one another and have symbolized such by the exchanging of rings, by the power vested in me, but more importantly, by the power vested in your own love, I now pronounce you married under the laws of Massachusetts. You may kiss your wife. How do you describe Tina? How do you uh, put her into words? Oh my God, you can't put Tina into words. Tina is one of a kind. That's it. <laughs> I wish him all the happiness and longevity and health and happiness always. I just seen them, they look beautiful. The two of them, great, great couple. Arguing is healthy, as long as you keep it clean. Don't hit below the belt. And try not to go be mad for more than a day. Oh, more than a day. Okay. All right, that's good advice. <laughs> she's like, she's like, she can connect with us, but she's really crazy. That's all I can say. I'm happy for her. Like, she's, he's like, amazing guy. But it's gonna be fun, fun time today. Can't wait. First of all, I'd like to say congratulations and thank you for everything that you have done for me in this past year. Dave's definitely interesting. Absolutely interesting. 
He's a good guy. He's a good guy. He's uh, someone that you want to know and someone that when you get to know, you never really fully know him because he's always surprising you with some of the funny things that he does. Well, first I have a question. Um, if you and your Uncle Jack were on an elephant and you helped, and he helped you off the elephant, would you help your Uncle Jack off an elephant? Uh, but I just want to let you know you're my boy, I love you, and I hope you have the best life that anybody ever can possibly have. And stop trying to sneak in on the message because you're right there in the hallway. But I love you, bro. Hopefully everything works out well, and I love you guys. I'm ready. I'm not guilty. <laughs> Dave is a very sweet soul, um, kind, would do anything for anybody. And I've never seen him so happy. I'm so very happy to see him glowing every time Tina walks into a room. He gets so excited. And I just am very envious of that. They're gonna have a happily ever after. Dave, just keep in mind, happy wife means happy life. And good luck, I wish you guys the best. I love you. Dave, Tina, I'm so happy for the two of you. You guys are a match made in heaven. I wish you nothing but the best and a fruitful marriage. Congratulations. I tried preparing what I was going to say, but you can't really do that. So I just wanted to um, let you know, guys, how happy I am for you and that, uh, and that I love you both. And I look forward to watching you guys grow as a couple. And I love you. And uh, let's get this party started. All right, everybody, get on your feet, people. Here we go. Please join me in congratulating the happy, happy couple. May I please have your attention, people, as we welcome the new Mrs. Tina Marie Oliveri and Mr. David Anthony Oliveri. Oh, say hello! Tina and David are going to dance to their first dance as husband and wife now. <laughs> this, is, this is the second thing. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. Something in your voice caused me to turn my head. Your smile just captured me. You were in my future, far as I could see. And I don't know how it happened. But it happens to you You ask me if I love you If I always will Well, you and me from below I felt my start to grow But when that I looked into your eyes You want me It was over from the start you completely stole my heart And now you won't let go I never even had the chance to you know You had 
protect me from the Lord. Inside, I built a wall so high around my heart. I thought I'd never fall One touch You brought her down Bricks of my defenses Scattered on the ground And I swore to me I wasn't gonna love again Last time was the last time I'd let someone in Well, you had me from the low I felt my start to grow The moment that I looked into your eyes You won me It was over from the start You completely stole my heart And now you won't let go I never even had the chance, you know You had me from the road That's all you say Something in your voice caused me to turn my head You had me from the road You had me from Love, girl, I love you from the Congratulations, guys. You look beautiful. David's best man, John, is going to toast him. Hey, Johnny! Check, check, toast, toast. Johnny! I prepared something, so, uh... Tina, my love forever. This is yours. This is yours. This is yours. Come on. Oh, yeah, Well, we all know why we're here today, and that's because Tina wouldn't let Dave get married at a pool hall. Or a bowl. Cinderella's castle, so that was, I would, but uh, I've known Dave for a long time, he's been a very, very good friend of mine, I don't know anybody who I could have more hopes and wishes for them to have a happy life with a beautiful bride team, and uh, yeah, I, I, when you go into a relationship, you want to go into a relationship, hello, you want to go into a relationship <laughs> with a clean slate, everything's open and honest and stuff, and you know, we want to know everything about each other, and uh, Dave hasn't been lying to you, but he's been hiding something from you. But I found it. I'm going to give it to you. Because now that you are Mrs. David Oliveira, you need to hold these for Dave. And keep them warm and comfortable. <laughs> but I love you very, very much. And here's to Dave and Tina. Thank you, John. No, I know I thought it'd be crazy. I let all that out of One, one time, give it up to Dan and Tina, please. Thank you. And how about the beautiful bridesmaids? The grown potty, not so much. No, but I was like trying to think of how to sum up, you know, 30 some odd years of friendship into a couple minutes and it's no way to happen. So, and as the party found out earlier, I'm kind of antisocial. I don't like to let myself out yeah, that much. Yeah. <laughs> no, but I'm not going to waste my time. I just want to get the party started. I just want to congratulate one of my best buddies, Dave, and his beautiful wife, Tina. And um, kind of like the... The Jeep that hit you on the rotary, she hit you head on. You yeah. we weren't expecting it. And at the same time, probably a little drunk at the time. <laughs> but if we just raise our glasses one time, if we just raise them up in the air and just 
wish a long and happy life to Dave and Tina. Salud. I love you guys. Love you, Mike. Whoa, whoa! Look at the two of you dancing that way. Lost in the moment. Each other's face So much you love You're alone in this place Like there's nobody else in the world I was enough for her Not long ago I was her number one She told me so And she still means the world to me Just so you know so be careful when you hold my girl Time changes everything, life must go on I'm not gonna stand in your way I loved her first, I held her first And a place in my heart will always be hers From the first breath she breathed When she first smiled at me find you someday But it's still hard to give her away I loved her first How could that beautiful walk away to you Be the same with face Kid that I knew One that I read all those fairy tales to Tucked in the bed all those nights And I knew the first time I saw you with her It was only a matter of time I loved her first I held her first And a place in my heart Will always be hers From the first breath she breathed When she first smiled at me She find you someday, but it's still hard to give her away. I loved her first. From the first breath she breathed, when she first smiled at me. Smiles of you, I love to feel. Up next, David and his mother Denise. Please come and take the dance floor. Hi, Mom. How are you? He loves you this very much. This one here is a simple man by Lynn Skinner. Oh, yeah. 
Focus on details. Go to the side. Go to the side. Go to the side. Go to the side. I got a good scenery shot. Very nice. Give it up. Sugar, Now, sweet daddy, people. All right.